Hi, I'm Oliver from the XX and I play bass and I sing. 2005 till yeah, the album came out, it was, it was a definite kind of, it's been a while in the making. When we were first picked up by our record label Young Turks, in, um, we were 17 and um, we hadn't played too many shows, we hadn't played outside of London, we had about six or seven songs and um, kind of, it was at a time where we were just starting to get attention and everyone else was kind of approaching us, we're talking about putting singles out there and we just weren't ready to put ourselves out there at all. So, um, and yeah, Young Turks approached us and just offered us a place to rehearse and offered to get us gigs, nothing more. And it, it seemed like they were looking out for our best interest. So, kind of the first year, first year's relationship with the record label, that's all we did. Played shows, started playing outside of London, and then, um, yeah, it's just started writing songs. And um, it was only once we'd kind of had an album's worth of songs that we started even talking about creating an album. Yeah. So it's definitely been a while in making. Me and Romy do our songwriting at night, um, and Jamie kind of produced the album from nine at night till nine in the morning. Just because for him, that's when the studio was free, and um, I quite like working at that point much ready to go to sleep and I don't know things kind of seem to flow a lot easier maybe emotions are running a bit higher I don't know but um, yeah it was, and everyone in my house was asleep so there was no there was no disruptions and I know this is just a certain type of stillness at night that helped I suppose so um, yeah I, 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 I did sit there maybe hushed tones <laughs> in the music and um, yeah kind of working at night for Jamie I think it's fair to say none of us are morning people and um, that's when the studio was free for him so once we'd done a lot of the recording he kind of went into this vampire like mode and he didn't, I didn't see him for quite a while and when I did see him he was looking quite mad so um, it better work well for him and um, yeah, I, th I think it's kind of translated somehow into the album. I, d I don't know. It wasn't necessarily an intentional thing, but I, I think it kind of has worked its way into what we do. With the kind of the Florence remix, I, I, I wouldn't have even thought I would ever even dare to sing that song if um, it weren't for the kind of Florence remix side of it. It's just such a huge anthemic song and especially in the UK it's probably the biggest song I can imagine. It's, I wouldn't have touched it personally just because the sheer size of it but um, Jamie had been asked to do a remix and me and Romy had asked to be part of it um, kind of, and we had thought maybe as backing vocals for Florence and um, Jamie always kind of puts the instrumental side of music first rather than kind of concentrating on the vocals and I think that me and Romy are different, we kind of put the vocal side of it first and lyrics but um, so he kind of built this whole instrumental structure and then when it came time to fitting Florence into it, it didn't work. Um, so yeah, we ended up, me and Romy kind of taking the lead on that song and Jamie kind of fitted it in with it but yeah, I, I, I don't know what to call it. I, I, I say remix just because that's kind of what it was meant to be. But um, it, was, it was a lot of fun. We haven't performed it. Yeah, it would be fun maybe at some point. But um, yeah. Yeah, I guess there was a lot of people yesterday at Laneway who are kind of hoping that you might join Florence on stage <laughs> or something. Or like, is it, was that ever a temptation for you guys? Was it ever discussed? Mm. She, she kind of gave us a demonstration of how she could do it live and um, yeah, she can, she can, she's got the, she's got the vocal skills, um, but I don't know, we have joined Florence on stage, well, us, me and Romy and Florence joined Jack Pignati on stage doing backing vocals and um, yeah, I, I was kind of, I shared a mic with her. She's got such a powerful voice. Kind of, I had the full, 
full voice in my right ear, so I kind of wish maybe, I don't know, it's kind of different tones, I suppose, but it, w it would be fun to do it at some point, maybe. Yeah, who knows, we're on laneways together for quite a while longer, so we'll see. <laughs> so did you have fun yesterday at laneway? I did have fun. Um, I, it was quite a strange stage, I kind of felt quite separated at, uh, when I first went out there from the audience as in sound so I didn't know quite well how well it was going until um, we finished the songs and the, kind of the audience was so receptive and nice mm. it was really like a warm welcome which was nice considering this was our first ever visit to New Zealand I don't know I didn't have kind of any expectations about what kind of how we were going to be received but there were so many so many people there, it was, it was really nice and they, they seemed to know the songs. I thought we'd be there as kind of more introducing the songs and introducing ourselves but um, people kind of seemed to know what we what we were doing, <laughs> which was mm. nice. Did you catch any of um, any of the other acts? Um, I've caught quite a few, most, quite a lot of them actually on uh, this tour. I've seen um, Wild Beasts play twice, but they didn't actually come to New Zealand. No. Neither did Mumford and Sons, but I've seen both of them. And um, I've seen Florence three times on this on this tour so far. And um, I, I don't know if I'm going to get her name right, but Sarah Blasco. Sarah Blasco, yeah. Blasco. yeah. She's a beautiful voice. Yeah, really amazing. Voice. Yeah. Yeah. And um, yeah, I kind of I got to talk to a lot of people, which was really nice. I, I, I didn't get to kind of see her performance, but I was behind the stage for Bachelorette, right? And again, really kind of dreamy, beautiful music. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, cool. And we were so, so tired. We'd left at two thirty in the morning from Sydney to kind of get to New Zealand, so we were pretty knackered. So kind of got some sleep, not too long after we played. And when's the next next main way that you're playing? Um, <coughs> we've got our own show yeah. tomorrow in. Melbourne, going back to Melbourne, and then um, kind of a day off, one of them, and then uh, another laneway show in Adelaide on Thursday, I think. Yeah. Hi, I'm Oliver from the XX, and you've been watching Cheese on Toast.